This is Inside the Jaguar Nation, presented by Russell Law Firm. Welcome on in to Inside the Jaguar Nation. I'm Ashley Wyotis and I'm joined by Aaron Lee, who is with our special guest we have in the studio. It's a new era on the bluff for men's basketball, and he's here to tell us how the future is looking. So let's not waste any more time and give the viewers that special treat. Aaron. Thanks, Ashley. I'm here with new coach of the Southern Jaguars, Coach Sean Woods. Thanks for joining us today on the show. And let's talk about it. How did it all come about? How did you even become a candidate for this position? <laughs> um, God is good, man. And, um, you know, in this business, uh, you know, in anything in life, it's about relationships and, and who you know. And um, Coach Roman Banks and I go way back, uh, almost 20 years in this profession. And I remember the days where he and I used to share uh, 49 99 Super 8 motels together in Dallas. We you know we were just poor assistants uh, trying to make it, man. And uh, we've always stayed in contact, became great, great friends. And uh, I had some success in this league uh, a few years ago, uh, just before he got in. My last year at Mississippi Valley was his first year. And uh, after we left, uh, you know, he, he, he had a great run in the SWAC also. And then when he decided to uh, take over the reins as the, the athletic director, uh, and, and I was in a position that I was in, uh, you know, it, it was just like a match made in heaven. All right, during the interviewing process, what was the philosophy or the vision that uh, former coach Roman Banks told you he wanted for the Jaguars next season? Well, he, he wanted the tradition back, and uh, he wanted it to, to get to another level, and, and uh, he knew that, you know, the things that I had done at Mississippi Valley uh, under the circumstances, and then what I did at Moorhead State, uh, that, you know, there's no doubt in his mind that, you know, I can do that here with, with, with uh, more resources. You know, Southern is a unique place, and a lot of people don't know it, but I'm going to put it out there uh, as I go forward being the head coach here. Uh, this is one of the better jobs, not just in the SWAC, but, but one of the better uh, low to mid and major jobs in the country. I know there were other candidates, but were you confident throughout the entire process that you were the guy, the right guy for that position? Well, I'm a confident guy anyway. You know, I just think that I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm, uh, I can coach. And, uh, you know, if that's what they were looking for, I, I thought that I was, the, I was the guy. You know, but they had some good guys, some, some really good candidates uh, in the pool also. You know, so I'm very fortunate. All right, you talk about character, as you know, people know about checkered pass and things that happen at other schools. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance to explain a little bit of that and tell Jaguar Nation why you're the right guy and those incidents does not define you as a man, as a coach, and as a Southern Jaguar? Well, I'm a leader, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm, I've, I've been fortunate enough to have a gift to lead young men uh, to become men. And, uh, you know, it's a new society now. It's, an, it's a new day. And you got to change the way you do things uh, in coaching or anything like, or anything for, 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 for that matter. But, um, you know, it was a situation that, you know, I didn't think I did anything, but, you know, with society, it, it, it has, with, by society has changed. Uh, you just got to do things different. And, uh, you know, as far as coaching is concerned and motivating, I think I'm one of the best. And, uh, you know, I just got enough, another opportunity to do so. Besides that one incident, I've never had any incidents before that a parent has challenged or questioned. Uh, my integrity or the way I've coached their kid or mentored their kid. So I feel, I, I look myself in the mirror and say, hey, I, I think I've done a great job because it's not only about basketball, you know, it's about, you know, uh, helping these young men in life. And uh, I look forward to that. That's what my passion is driven from, is, is making someone better uh, on and off the basketball court. And uh, I don't second guess that. And, and I don't feel, I mean, I don't say I'm sorry to anyone because of that. You know, I don't coach because of the fortune of fame. I coach because I have a passion of making kids better uh, as a basketball player and as a young man. All right, it's time for our first break. Ashley, tell us what we got coming up on the show next. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. We always take you out with the sounds of the human jukebox. We always love to hear that. But coming up next, why not more with Coach Woods? Yeah. More questions, more answers coming up after the break.
You're watching Inside the Jaguar Nation, presented by Russell Law Firm, with Brian Holland, Morgan Beard, Ashley Lyotis, and Aaron Lee. Welcome back to Inside the Jaguar Nation. This has been a special treat so far with Coach Woods joining us in studio. So let's send it back to you, Aaron. Thanks, Ashley. We're still here with Coach Woods. And let's talk a little bit more. The press conference, when you were introduced on Southern's campus, you had a lot of media there, all the other coaches. Just explain that day and what Roman Banks said to you beforehand and after that. Well, he just told me, you know, Southern's prideful, and you know, he was shocked at the at the media coverage and and uh, how packed it was at the at the press conference. But everybody wanted to see uh, and hear from my, from the horse's mouth who, who was Sean Woods, and uh, I like that. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I, I think everybody is, is very eager and, and excited, and hopefully they are uh, about the future of Southern Men's basketball. How soon did you talk to the team, you know, the players that were returning? And can, can you share what you spoke to them about? Well, I did, I, that day. Uh, as a matter of fact, before I even went into the press conference. And, uh, you know, you just, you know, it's a new day. Um, you know, we're going to work hard, but we're going to play hard, too. And, uh, you know, everybody wants to be around successful people. And they, and they want to learn. They want to be great basketball players. And they want to be mentored. Uh, and they want to be coached in uh, the right way. And uh, I think they were looking forward to that. Uh, big time, you know, uh, you know, th they want to win. And uh, they know everywhere I've been, I've won, and I've had some players that have gone on to, 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 to do some great things professionally. And also, uh, I'm going to hold their hands to the fire as far as doing the right thing in the classroom because I do have a 100% graduation rate. And uh, academics is, is, is very, very dear to my heart because that's the main thing. From that day, Till today, do you feel like you have started to build a relationship with those players and you feel like they're starting to trust you and trust the vision of the Southern Jaguar team this season? No doubt about it, and it actually starts today. Uh, you know, I got a chance to see them and, and watch them work out a little bit, you know, a little time when I first got here, then they went home for, for, for a break, and now they came back today, and uh, they're all ready and, and eager to, to get started. All right, as far as what's first, you know, as far as I know, you guys got camp coming up. Mm -hmm. you know, what's, what's the process from here all the way to basketball season? Well, first of all, when I first got here, we had to, you know, we still had to sign five guys. You know, it was, uh, we still had to get some players. And uh, we were fortunate enough to get some good players uh, to come in. You know, we got one more to get, and uh, hopefully we can solidify that in the next couple, two, three weeks. Uh, but now it's, you know, it's, it's really workouts. You know, it's summer workouts uh, because in the summertime is where you get better. That's where... I, I introduce everything that I do because I'm, I'm big on player development. All right, it's time for another break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about some of these guys that Coach Woods has brung in. Ashley, over to you. All right, thank you, Aaron. We'll check back with you in a bit. But, of course, we always bring you the sound of the human jukebox. So to come, Aaron and Coach Woods talk about his style of play and his family. We'll be right back with more Inside the Jaguar Nation. This is Inside the Jaguar Nation, presented by Russell Law Firm. Welcome back to Inside the Jaguar Nation. All show long, we've had the pleasure of brand new head coach Sean Woods in the studio. So Aaron, let's wrap things up. Again, I'm here with Jaguars new coach Sean Woods. I wouldn't call you new. You, know, you are solidified as a Jaguar coach. You've been down here for how long? I've been here for almost two months now. Yeah. Two months now. Yeah. All right. Now let's talk about so many players. I know you talked about hitting the ground running and recruiting. Mm -hmm. Jared Sam, last year's leading scorer, mm -hmm. was everything for this team. Mm -hmm. How you how are you going to replace that scoring this season? Well, I think we're going to do it with committee. You know, and and one thing I didn't do was I haven't watched any tape from last year, so I don't get any type of um, preconceived opinion on who can do what because I coach different, uh, my style of play is different, um, and I play a lot of guys too. So, you know, uh, I didn't want to get any type of uh, uh, idea of who they are because then if you do that then you start to l limit what they can and can't do as a coach. Now you mentioned style of play. 
Mm -hmm. You see, you said it was a guard league. We see the Warriors hitting all these threes. Mm -hmm. What will be your style of play this season? Will it be that up and down, shoot jumpers, or will you kind of mix it up where the big man or the center position will be vital to this offense? It'll be both, you know. Uh, uh, we, we get up and down, we call it organized chaos. You know, we get after you defensively. Uh, we spread you out, run dribble drive on offense. Uh, you know, you, you can't play this game a lot and not be able to shoot. So you're gonna see some threes, you know what I'm saying, being shot. But we, you know, guys that didn't shoot as many last year will get a chance to shoot some this year because that's what we do. You know, these guys will be better basketball players because they'll be better at making the right play. When I come to a game, I'm going to need VIP treatment, Fox 44. You know, we need, you know, no front row, all that. No all that doubt good about stuff. it. Only here on Inside the Jaguar <laughs> Nation. Now, let's shift a little bit. Let's talk about your family, your support team. Mm -hmm. When you got the job, your wife, you know, just mm -hmm. how, what were their feelings about coming here to Baton Rouge? Well, it was good. You know, um, you know, me being an assistant for the first time in a long time was, was, was very different. But, uh, you know, I, I, my family is basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Basketball is in my house. Uh, both my sons play. My, my, my oldest son played at TCU. I got a chance to coach him. My youngest son is getting ready to be a senior now. Uh, we're figuring out where he's going to go to school. And uh, my wife's been with me since I was a freshman in college, man. So she's been through this journey with me as far as basketball is concerned for over, um, over 20 years. Uh, so it's, 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 it's been a journey, but it's, it, I'm blessed to have the, the, the support staff that I have uh, with my two boys and my wife because uh, they know what it's all about. And, and being a basketball coach and going through the travels that I've had, we've, you know, we've moved from here to there and there to here. And it's been tough, but uh, we've stayed the course. My wife has stayed the course. And uh, we're just looking to, to really uh, solidify our, ourselves here in Baton Rouge. All right, Coach, thanks for coming on Inside the Jaguar no doubt about Nation. It, man. Good luck this season. Appreciate it. Appreciate I'll be it. at every game. Look, can we get some wins on the bluff? Look, I, I want to see a swag championship. Yeah, that, that's I want to see that's some success. I'm, I'm wishing you success. No doubt. That's the only reason why I'm here, man. All right, thanks a lot. All right, that's all we have with Coach Woods. Back to you, Ashley. Over there, tell us what's coming up next. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Aaron. Of course, we always bring you out with the sounds of the human jukebox. Stick around. We'll be right back. This is Inside the Jaguar Nation, presented by Russell Law Firm. Welcome back to Inside the Jaguar Nation. Thank you, Coach Woods, for joining us <laughs> on the show. We appreciate yeah, he you was great. giving us the first exclusive interview mm -hmm. here on Inside the Jaguar Nation. Now, Ashley, let's talk about Coach Woods and himself. I got a chance to spend some time with the guy. Seems like a great guy. I feel like he's the right guy for the job. Um, what he did, his past uh, places, plus what he did in the SWAC. He's familiar with this. He brings a winning pedigree over on the bluff. But what are your thoughts? I think I think you're right. I think he is get, wants to bring the Jags back to those glory days. And, and one of the main things that he touched on, uh, you know, was when he said Banks wanted to bring that tradition back. It's something that, you know, maybe wasn't completely lost for a while, but I think a lot of people would let, you know, a lot of their fans would like to see that sort of tradition aspect come back. Not to mention, I, I think he said that he's 100% gradua graduation rate. So that's, that's something. Big. I mean, these kids are student athletes first. They're students before they are athletes. So to get a, have a 100% graduation rate, we're going to have a lot of uh, happy students and happy parents, I think, as well. And that's good because they just got <laughs> off of academic probation, so right. he'll just keep that spiraling up. So exactly. speaking of Roman Banks, here's <laughs> Roman Banks speaking on Coach Woods. Me knowing Sean just happened to be in the box. It was all about uh, Southern University uh, fans and alumni and, and the tradition of the program. We want to know someone that won at this level, someone that had a chance to move a university to another level, uh, someone that has a sight and style of play, someone that has pedigree, someone that will understand the tradition and legacy of our programs. And um, as we kept going, uh, you know, he had more checks. All right, and you know who always checks out here on Inside the Jaguar Nation is the human jukebox, always bringing those sweet sounds, but. It's time for another break, and coming up next, we talk to that man, number one on the field, number one in your hearts, Danny Johnson, and how he's adjusting or planning on adjusting to D.C. We'll be right back. This is Inside the Jaguar Nation, presented by Russell Law Firm. 
Welcome back to the show. Hey, Ashley, we got to talk some Danny Johnson. You got a chance to sit down and talk to him. Tell us about that. Yeah, I did before he left for D.C. It was actually uh, a few weeks ago, but he is gonna was going to miss his son's birthday, his son Aiden's birthday that was last week. And so he knew sad. it was all worth it. That sacrifice is going to pay off. What sons are you have right now? Like, my biggest thing is uh, being away from my son for a good while, but I know it's a sacrifice, so have to do what I have to do for him. His birthday is June 4th, so I asked him, I said, um, what do you want to do for your birthday since I'll be gone? I was like, I'll be, I'll have to miss your birthday. He said, well, I just want to come to Washington that second year. Okay. I think I want him to come out there, so I know everything will be situated, uh, figure out where he's going to go to school, stuff like that. So I just don't want to take him out of school right, like, right away. And I know he'll miss his friends, but he definitely wouldn't miss the opportunity <laughs> of leaving here, so. So what are your thoughts on um, D.C.? Have you been there before? I've been to D.C. before. Okay. Um, I've actually been there, um, I was in eighth grade, and we took a school trip. Oh, nice, okay. And I actually liked it, and one reason I like it is because it's so much to see. You know, so I know that'll be great for my son to come out there and see the different stuff and learn more about that. You know, um, then for me too, as well. You know it snows there, and it's really cold. I was just to it. I know it'll probably be tough, but that's something I have to adjust to. But we come down and play uh, New Orleans. Everybody will be at that game. What's your plan after football, regardless of when that may be? I want to go to law school. I want to go back to Southern, come back to uh, go back to law school. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided on what type of law I want to study, but that's definitely something I really want to come back and do. I'm reading a lot on what's happening in the world and just always keeping it in the back of your head and just thinking, you know, what can I do to help? And my plan was to graduate after I played my last game, and that's what I did. So I stayed on track, made sure I stayed on top of all my classes, finished school with a 4.0 GPA. You know, studying, just making sure I stayed on top of my schoolwork, not letting uh, myself get behind. Just knowing whenever I had free time, if I had work to do, it needed to be done. Knowing I can't play football forever, so I was just thinking ahead, just saying, what do I want to do next? And that's something that really interested, something that's really stuck out to me. What do you think you're most looking forward to? I think just getting to meet some of the guys that are already there. Mm -hmm. Just learning from the, uh, the guys that are already there, like Josh Norman, Lando Skandrick, like guys like that. So just being around those guys and just trying to, you know, learn, you know, what, how to follow the ropes and how to be successful in the league. So I'm just trying to go down, have, make, have the longest career, uh, you know, save some money and try to get out healthy. That's my, that's my main plan. <laughs> that's all we have for you. See you next time on Inside the Jaguar Nation. Ready to discover Southern University? SU is the only historically black college system in the nation. Discover innovation with 32 undergraduate and 23 graduate programs to choose from. Discover excellence with the world-class education provided by highly esteemed faculty and staff. Discover culture, whether you're cheering the Jags to victory, enjoying the human jukebox, SU has that unique Louisiana culture. So, what are you waiting for? Discover. Discover you at SU.